Sorry, of course, Charlie. Order of the Golden Pillar. Thank you so much for all the work you do, and please continue doing it. For the newest member of the Golden Pillar of Artemisia, Viva! 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 Except for the one time I got stabbed in the face in Barbara Brawl. Thought that wasn't very cool. <laughs> so, but there is uh, one thing that I would like to bring up that Her Excellency Marin has brought to my attention. Would you please come join us? Yes, I would. So, Marin was requested to make our newest night vigil in a set of spurs. And so she crafted these lovely spurs and realized that this man's foster knight, this Lowly hedge knight for Maiden Belt did not have a set of spurs. Embarrassing. Oh. Embarrassing. Oh. And she felt that if his foster squire was going to be given this such a lavish gift, that it would be an embarrassment for a new Artemisian knight to not match his foster knight. So please come forward and receive your gift that this lovely excellency decided to make out of the kindness of her heart and of your embarrassment to all of us. Same. <laughs> James. Of course, thank you. <laughs> These are lovely, lovely spurs that match your body twice. So. Thank you for letting me pick on you. <laughs> right, and that was really
please email me for it because I want to talk to you some more. That is the kind of things that are on the back of these judging sheets today. I'm just saying. I think people were excited. I, I think they were. Um, do you want to call everyone up and hand them their judging sheets? And then we can announce the champion. Yes, let's do that. And then we can announce the Pocket Destroyers. Okay. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's do champion first, Pocket Destroyers after. Okay, so I, I need Paulos up here because he's he is our um, stepping down champion who has done a wonderful job of arts and sciences, built a whole shop, invited anyone over at any time. Please go, he needs more people to visit him. He's trying to and make the things. Because apparently he's a lot like Varya, and if he doesn't know how to make it, he learns how to make it. I'm just saying. Okay, so first we have uh, Nikolai from Los Solids. We're just having everyone come up and stand here in a pretty row, and then. And uh, William. Look at that hat! Yeah, extra points for wearing your. And then Emma. And then Crispin. And then Maureen. 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 In the wrong place it says. Oh. I don't have the pretty thing. Uh, in, the, in the bank. So first, all the participants, thank you for sharing yourselves. Lord Paulos has a gift for each of you. So when you step back, please follow him because he has made you things and wants you to take them. Because he made things <laughs> and he appreciates you. So first we're gonna announce the champion. Oh, there it is. And we have a fabulous scroll from I printed the Like I can't read my photography. Calligraphy and illuminated egg by Lady Elise. Just as Arnhold is a glorious and buried land, so too must her champions be buried. This day a competition was held to determine the good gentle that best suited to signify the style of Artemisia and a realm of our sciences. After surveying the many fine examples of talent put on display by the populace this day, we do name Law Arts and Sciences the barony of this field, done by our hands this 27th day of January on Associatus 50-something, known in the distant lands as 2024. Why do you go those words out? X, 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 X. I guess means it next year. Okay, so here's the words you can read. Three cheers for our newest champion, Vivat! 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 choice by one. Oh. There are excellencies of Arnhold are grateful for the many artisans bravely displaying their works for all to see and judge. And many denizens of Arnhold and their guests feasted their eyes on the arts and chose Morini.
to the order of the Tripsipkaris Mufal. Ursula 
of Arnhold. Thomas is named the major champion of Arnhold on this 27th day of January on Associate Titus 58, also known as 2024. Killian et Veselias. For illumination by um, Killian and calligraphy by Gomez, except for the name. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. Thank you. We look forward to uh, enjoying your services as our team. Oh, he serves the Baron very well. Yeah, he does. And I'm very happy to keep the, the Rapier <laughs> Champion the Baron. So. <laughs> <laughs> Three cheers for the newest Rapier Champion of our home. Vivas! 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 today and in consultation with our list mistress and with His Excellency, um, we have decided to recognize Wojciech for his impressive deaths. Um, there's some gifties in here for you, both from Her Excellency Simone and from me and various assorted other people. So thank you. Uh, combat is should be entertaining and uh, we as the the uh, spectators want to say thank you. So keep dying. Here's <laughs> for best step. Be good. 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 Be with the dance after court. So we will announce uh, the bardic later this evening. And we need to talk about the nobles of color before we, we sit down. So uh, I'm gonna ask Lady Elise to come back up here and announce our winners for the nobles of color. Rainbow. <laughs> Your Majesty. 
I saw that. I loved it. Angus and Simone. Red News in a row have you served on? <laughs> <laughs> Don't 
Your Majesty, I have not kept track. <laughs> At least four. Great answer. <laughs> it is a pleasure to serve our Royals or anyone that you have been there to help out at a moment's notice. Is, is, that, is that number even calculable? It is at least five. The first retinue that I served on was within my first year of the okay. Yeah. So you've been doing this for a while. You've been very helpful. And you do a good job at it, too. Exemplary. Like, and I always like to call out the quiet types of service that sometimes go unnoticed. And the quiet things that people like you do, like asking to help and then establishing where my help is not needed. That kind of boundaries is something that we miss a lot. And it goes very noticed where, for those who are in the, inundated with help. And sometimes just having someone say, I can do this well. Tell me where to stop. That is something very special that we don't get very much. And I wanted to thank you for that because you do this a lot. You do it very well continue to do it. And that's not the only service you do. But keeping up with me, keeping track of me at times, keeping me focused, keeping reminding me of where I have to be, or keeping me distracted. Um, it's a full-time job. Full job. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I've got some work. You do. You, you really do. It's fantastic. You know what else you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this group and a member of this kingdom that made this kingdom happen. He is the epitome of selfless service. And so, in honor of his efforts, Struffy, uh, the kingdom created an, eight, uh, an award based on his arms, which were the sun and splendor. Yeah!
worthy this day. He is the holder of the Circle d'Honneur. He is a member of the Combatant Moose. He is a walking pal. He is an armager and a griffin talent. He is a defender of the Citadel. He is a member of the Chosen Seven. He was a bearer of the Shield of Chivalry of Artemisia. He bears the pending arms. Argent, two jackals erased a dorsed sable. In chief of Fest Azure and three mullets of four greater and lesser points Argent. He is a member of the House of Starfire of Antir. He is the first squire of Volkia Style. The Wolf Pack! Oh! Night Cult! It's a cult. It's a cult. <laughs> he comes escorted by the members of his households, his inspiration and friends, his sons, and his beautiful wife. Majesties, we present to you Primislav Kazan. your permission. Very noble and caring way. 
the gentle who kneels before you is not only noble, but he okay. truly in his heart watches over fellow fellow members of this beautiful game that we have. He is one of the first to defend them and to ensure that they feel safe. Your Majesties, we feel that you have chosen wisely. Is there a member of the Order of Defense who would speak? Your Majesty, I would uh, speak on this behalf. Um, I'm very honored to speak for this man. Um, we knew each other in Antir. We moved down here a similar time. And I've always looked upon him as a, uh, a pillar of what makes the SCA great. And um, when we think of the various chivalric virtues, one of the cores for me is you park your ego, that you care about others uh, before yourself. And that flows into kindness and chivalry and honor and all of the other virtues because you think of more than just yourself. And I do believe Primus exemplifies that in everything that he does. He thinks about the greater SCA, he thinks about the barony, he's always thinking about the larger community first. And it's such an amazing contradiction then when you see him on the field and he's such a monster beating people <laughs> with joy. I, th I can think of no person that I would love to see as a member of the chivalry than this man. Is there a member of the Order of the Pelican who would speak? Majesty, I do count upon Crixit, Order of the Pelican, and it's my pleasure to speak on behalf of this good candidate. As a Pelican, we undertake many burdens to ensure that the work gets done. Primus, for his part, has taken many burdens from us and from those around to make sure the work gets done without thought of compensation, without thought of recognition, but works tirelessly to ensure that the work gets done. He has our full recognition. Is there a member of the Order of the Laurel to speak? Else that he's definitely a knight. 
Is there a member of this order of the chivalry who will speak? Or two. Four more. Majesty, I will speak of this man's prowess. Several years ago, he came to us. It was evident that he had a joy of fighting. It was evident that he took instruction well. It was evident he had skill. And it was obvious his path would lead here. Through the years, he would take instruction and fight and learn and fight. And speaking for myself, I would have to learn skills myself just to try to beat this man. <laughs> and that is what peers do. They elevate the prowess of those around them. And this is what this man does. His fighting skills in all weapons, his honor and his chivalry upon the field are exemplary. As a representative of the order, we believe this man is our peer. We believe this man is a knight. We would ask anybody But not only is there a prowess on the field that is important in the order of chivalry, but also your behavior and how you comport yourself off the field. This man here is an amazing example of what that is. He is always willing to help anybody out when they need it. He's there for, as a friend to help out outside of things in the game. But most important, and the thing that I think is the strongest reason why I see this man as a knight, is because his family always comes first. This gentleman loves to fight, but he loves his family more. They are more important to him than anything. And to me, that is the best virtue of any person out here. And in fact, today, during his vigil, he took time because he wanted to be there for his son in one of his recognitions. This man is a knight in all ways. Thank you. Is there a member of the populace who would speak? Your Majesties, I'm Crimson Star Fire and Volunteer. I've known this man for a long time. Uh, in fact, our first event together, bar and extended dog leash, because you didn't have a belt. <laughs> By all travels, I've heard the phrase that a knight is not made and a knight is recognized. And I can't say there's a better person to be recognized as a knight. Today I speak to his dedication. I had a bit more planned out, but Cohen brought up much of it. <laughs> he's always there. He's always trying his best. And when he's not, it's because he's with his family. And nobody can fault him for that. This man is so dedicated and so worthy of knighthood. I too would like to speak for, for Brackets. I have known him for a couple years now and I've had the honor for him to fight for me.
signs from Brendan Schindler and Star currently a volunteer. <coughs> sword with the story and a sword with lineage and a sword to shine above all else a sword for war and a sword to start your own story it's something that I have created for you we fight the shield wall we are strong may you stay strong and lead us as an image
do swear homage and fealty do swear to my sovereign lord to the crown and kingdom of Artemisia, who will from this day onward be my liege lord. I will remain in all ways a true and humble servant, a sword of justice, a shield of defense, a protector of the realm and its people, serving faithfully, endeavoring ever to prove myself worthy to the noble title of Knight of the Society. All this I do swear, by my sword, belt, and chain, so say I. Prinislav Kazan as knight and a peer of our realm. We also confer unto him the right to bear arms by letter patent, done this 27th day of January, on a society Codice 58, being 2024 in the Gregorian era. Kirillak King, Ursa Rex, scroll by Her Excellency Heloise. You're gonna like this. <laughs> For those at home. Oh! Yes! It's a cult. Wow. It's a cult. Yeah. Definitely. Only because it's not tax exempt. He once was a warrior fresh from the field, kneeling before his king he came. When he had risen, he was a knight, and unto his king his guilty gave. I was born on the mission, I was raised in a war, and one day you can make me a knight. Though one day my sword may go rusted and cold, I will live by my oath till I die. Great grew the knight, and his fame it did spread, never before a forward hill. Great though the number, they never called defeat. Sang this song behind his shield. I was born on the lipstick, I was raised in the war, and one day when he made me a knight, the Lord made my sword may grow rusted and gold. I will live by my oath till I die. Old grew the knights and retired to a farm, said the king, No more will you be called. But honor and duty, that king that night he knew well. Once more unto his king he sang this song. 
I was born on the windshield, I was raised in the wars, and one day you did make me a knight. Though some say my sword has grown rusted in gold, I will live by my oath till I die. War to the country, the king was in flight, his knights, they could not win the day. When out on the field rolled that old ancient knight, and as he charged, the bell heard him say, You were born out of the shield, you were raised in the wall, and one day your king made you all nice. Though one day your sword may grow rusted and gold, you must live by your oaths till you die. The king's men, they rallied, they slew all their foes, they began to count their hurt and death. They found that old knight, ringed round by slain foes, and once more unto his king he said, I was born on the list field, I was raised in the wars, and one day you did make me your knight. Though it seems my sword has grown rusted in gold, I have lived by my oath till I die. Though it seems my sword has grown rusted in gold, I have lived by my oath till I die. No more business but revelry. Herein closes the court of their majesty's